Hi Dave, you're on the go room here, mate, the goalie. Um, I know you've had a tough time with it, you've had the big operation. Um, really hope you can get better soon and a full recovery. I've got as many as the Celtic boys are in my group chat as I can to get to get you a message. But times like this, it doesn't matter who you support, Rangers or Celtic, we just all want to get well soon, alright? All the very best, pal. I'm not saying hail, hail. Right, Skin. Right. Skin. Where, where is he? He's in Australia. He's right. in Perth, Western right. Australia. He's a hippie, a hippie, right. diehard hippie. Right. And he would just love you to see him. You're doing the right. My dad will kill me. I can't walk 500 miles. She's a proclaimer. I knew. A proclaimer. A proclaimer. Wait, can I do this? Two, two Come out the right way, speak to you. So you're proclaiming that you're hey. what, 500 miles? No, I'm only kidding on. <laughs> I know. Are you alright? <laughs> well, we're trying, but... You're going that way, that way. We're just trying to do a wee video here. Nice to meet you. Right, right. Skin. Skin. So, uh, you tell me where to go. Yeah, uh, Gaza. They probably vote. I don't know if it's. Anyway, great interview. That. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How was it with the two years after that? No, bro. <clears throat> I'd rather Paul score that goal than yeah. any other English man. Mm -hmm. Paul is the only man that, that, that could score that goal. Mm -hmm. Right? I'm just glad I'm in history at Wembley because he voted the best goal ever. Uh -huh. um, and rightly so. But we, we missed apparently 45 seconds before that. Mm -hmm. And Gaz has got it, and you think, we're in a bit of bother here, blah, blah. And he's put it over Colin Henry's head. And it hit my fingertip. I was I was six inches out of position. Fact. And I'm looking back thinking, I'm just six inches out of position and it's cost us. Mm -hmm. I was raging. They've won the game, blah, blah. And as I'm coming off Wembley, I've seen Gaza walking over. I'm thinking, I'm worse than, I'm worse than anybody in training. If we get beat in training, I'm a nightmare. Mm -hmm. Lose a goal, I'm a nightmare. I'm not a bad loser, but I fucking hate it. Mm -hmm. and I've seen Paul coming over and I've looked at him. He's obviously coming out, big daft smiley. He's got his new teeth and all that. I'm looking at <laughs> If you say a word to him, I'm going to fucking kill you. I just looked at him. He clocked it, turned away and walked off. After the game, we were in the bar and we spoke for about half an hour. We had a good couple of drinks. And he never mentioned it. I'm like, I've got away with this one. Right? Normally, I'd be getting... I'll read it. Mm -hmm. Never mentioned it. So, my first day in training, the, the season after Ibrox, the dressing room was massive. It's massive dressing room. I'm walking in. I can hear a commotion in the dressing room. I'm like, what's going on in here? I've opened the door. Gaza has got two big police cones at the end of the training, at the end of the dressing room, as goals. There's a beach ball in the middle of the goal, <laughs> which was me. There's a wee cone with a mop head sticking out of it, lying on its side, which was Colin Henry. <laughs> and then I walked in, Gaza flicked, flicked over the mop head, smashed it past the beach ball. I went, is that what it was? <laughs> but then he went and lay down, and the coach was squatting water in his mouth. They'd set it all up for me, like. so I caught for it. I caught for it when I get back. Like. I said I'd rather him score that goal than yeah. anybody else, but there's only him capable. That's class, man. Uh, That's class. But like I say, but see the annoying bit. See when he scores and they planned all that. He's actually thinking about what's going on here. He says mm -hmm. the, the confidence in him mm -hmm. and the level he's at. I'm going to score here and see what I do. I'll lie down and you'll come and squat what? Very sad news after the passing on of Andy Goram, a man who was capped 43 times for his country at football and four times at cricket, the only squad to have played at the top level at both sports. The former Scotland and Rangers goalkeeper Andy Goram passed on after a very, very short battle with health related issues. Actually, he helped Rangers win five Scottish Premier League titles, three Scottish Cups, and two League Cups. Andy was also on loan at Manchester United during a run in as they won the Premier League title in 2020, 2001. He was most recently a goalkeeping coach with West Scotland Football League Club Cambuslag Rangers. It was announced in April that Andy had been diagnosed with health related issues in the esophageal, which affected actually the long tube that carries food from the throat to the stomach, and later revealed he had been 
uh, given six months uh, to live. He also disclosed that he had turned down the chemotherapy as it would only extend his life by only three months. Many tributes have been coming in on social media from former clubs, teammates, and rivals to the man who became affectionately known simply as the goalie. Uh, after the Rangers posted on Saturday that he uh, they, they had been deeply saddened to announce his passing on, uh, very many people have come out to commemorate and also pay tributes to the, the legendary goalkeeper, including Salex himself. Rest in power, the king, Andy Gorham.